Let's head up. And head in for boss time. We are up against the Royal Jelly. As you can see here, no damage done when you attack it. If Surge isn't doing damage with it, he no, nobody else is either. As you can see, nothing too scary so far. You pretty much just want to build up your levels. I think we'll just get all the way up to start. All right, kid, you are up. Just go as much as you can here. Up to level seven. That sounds good. Starkey, you're up too. Nice shooting, Starkey. Very accurate. And that's actually a plus at this point. Thank you for being accurate. This is still boss time, despite whatever you may see here. All right, let's go in and do a little bit more work, I guess. Yeah, we'll just go after that. We'll just go. I don't want to do that just yet. Let's go for an inferno to start. Three hundred and thirty-seven. Yeah, as you might suspect, he is weak to red elements. So having kid here is definitely something that I would recommend. You don't have to do it, but it'd be nice. All right, the death blow machine invented by Luca. Let's show off hot shot against the royal jelly. Oh yeah, it's strong. That was quite a little pose that she had there. Good thing it worked. All right, let's let's actually try to build up some some stamina here. Have Surge come in. And that's one of the problems with building up to start. The way that I did it was was not the right way, but we'll still get some good stuff happening. I want to go for that. I don't think I do. Not yet. You know what? I think I can try a dash and slash, but I don't think it does any damage. Because once again, I believe it is physical. Yeah, see? They don't let you know when it's physical and when it's uh, magic-based. But you can kind of guess and check. Really? You missed that then? Oh, as he goes for a number. No, my evade. No, how will I avoid getting hit for zero damage now? You know what, let's try to steal. Let's try to steal. Let's pilfer from the royal jelly here. What do you have on you? I honestly don't know what he's got. A sky gin ring. Nothing too great. Nothing too great. As long as you keep using your stamina, I'll be fine. I'll be happy with it. Uh, we could go for a Magnify. Magnify would be actually pretty good at this point. It's not like Starkey's doing too much to for me right now, anyway. Everybody back up. And let's go for... Mm, I don't have particularly good red on you. Let's go for a Magma Burst. Should have decked him out with a little bit more red. Should do a significant amount of damage nonetheless. 642, just like I thought. All right. Now, Kid definitely has one more thing that is quite nice. You can do any damage to Starkey here? Yeah, a little bit. Still single digits, but more than zero, so that's something. Let's go for red pin. Five hundred and thirty-one, and down goes the royal jelly. And we receive a new growth level, up to one thousand one hundred and twenty-five gold for that. But we do get six HP. And a resistance for Surge, not the best level up for him. Uh, 8 HP, 2 strength, and a resistance for Kid. And notice that they both have gotten a second level 8 element slot. 
Starkey gets quite a bit of HP. That's something. He needs to make up for it there. Plus, resistance and agility. Also, not necessarily the best level up for me. I'm primarily focused on attack. I need more strength and magic. The rest of it, not so much. And a resistance belt for our trouble. Now, this is not a difficult fight, the royal jelly. You just kind of need magic. Wow! Starkey's ship in this world not broken! Starkey, I'm happy. Could that be the reason why we have air down here? Affirmative. Starkey's ship creates a special force field. Starkey think in the other world, Starkey's ship is in pieces and the parts are buried underground, but still working. And that's how they explain how we can breathe underwater, which more than we get in Final Fantasy X. Yeah, it opened. Let's head inside. Let's use the technology here to win all battles in the future. Yeah, everything is in order. The navigation system is operational. Starkey's bed is nice and cozy too. Why are you still wearing your spacesuit? Can this take us to Terra Tower? This ship is only big enough to fly Starkey. Then what do we do? Leave it to me. The engine may be a bit rusty, but otherwise perfect. Oh yeah, that. Hmm, maybe we can use this? Starkey may be able to scrounge up more stuff. Starkey will come back later. Easy does it. What's this? It's an anti-gravity device. If you attach this to your boat, it will fly to Terra Tower easily. All we need now is a facility to install it. I remember there was a dock inside of Chronopolis. All right, let's be on our way to Chronopolis. Let's see. Starkey need this and that. Oh yeah. This should do the trick. Oi. All you have to do is load that thing on the boat, right? What are you talking about? We need to attach a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. I don't get it, but just hurry it up, okay? Time to get to work. Phew. Starkey, I'm done. See? All you did was load it on the boat. Negative. So this is it. Never expected our encounter to turn out like this, did you, Serge? And no, I could not have seen this coming. Why were we born? Why do we live? That's what we're going to find out with our own eyes. Are we really going to find that out? Is the game going to give us the secret of life? Apparently, yes, Serge nodded. I'm assuming he answered my question. Notice how the record of fate is in here. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't. Yeah, it was right there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was over here. The record of fate was right there. It's not there anymore. But now we have our boat decked out as necessary. Um, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's go. Let's do it.
I think they will allow us to leave. So even though we get this big build up, the first thing that I'm going to do is leave. I feel bad about it. Kind of spoiled that cutscene a little bit, but we're, we're, we're just gonna leave once we actually do land here. And we do land, and they do give us a record of fate, as you might expect. So it turns out, Starkey was important to the plot this whole time. Thanks for the anti-gravity device. We apparently needed it. So let's, uh, Board the boat and leave Terra Tower. <laughs> Just like that. And now we're back here. We can go back to Terra Tower anytime we want, but we still can't go to Gaia's Naval. Or Gaia's Naval. I always found that one a little weird. But our next destination is back to the El Nido Triangle. Remember, Starkey said that he would be back. We have to actually take him back, so let's actually take him back. We'll go in and try to avoid all the monsters as we go around. Lots of puffies around here. Right. Ow! I couldn't even dodge the first one. Hopefully I'll be able to dodge these guys a little bit better as I move forward. Not too big of a fan of taking on the enemies around here. When we've just been here, right? We just cleared this. It's down for a while and then they want you to go right. It's weird. Let's head up and try to dodge the giant crabs. And then we can head back to Starkey's ship, which is allowing us to breathe down here. Thank you, Starkey ship. Let's head inside and investigate the little hatch there. Starkey wonder if Starkey can find anything else. Hmm, only junk. Wow! So this is where it was. And Starkey has received Starstruck. Now this is the last level 7 tech that we can get. I think he said that does it, but we went a little quick there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into a fight so that I can show it off. Because I don't want to bring Starkey with me too much longer. <laughs> Starkey's nice and all, but, you know, there's there's better characters for that slot. Oh, it's already right there. Starstruck! Call on Starman Guardian to do special attack mark three! We'll go ahead and put that instead of where uh, Freefall is now. Sure, seems like a good spot to me. Let's continue on, get into a fight with a sidestepper, and we'll just have Starkey do a whole bunch of work, hopefully. It's always a little weird for me that they send us to Terra Tower and then I just kind of like, no, I want out, like immediately.